Hello guys. In my previous video, I talked about the three things that I don't like in Volkswagen Yup. The one was the lack of wireless charging that I managed to fix it by myself. The other was that uh, I couldn't reset the trip information. Uh, and you helped me, help me uh, the way that it, it can be reset is this OK button. You just need to press it for a couple of seconds and the trip information will be reset. So now today I will show you how I fixed my last problem. This was the air conditioning. Whenever uh, you start the car, uh, it's reset to 22 degrees centigrade and I want to be a little bit lower, around 20 degrees. So uh, I, in order to fix that, I bought this little device. This device, uh, I found it in one forum where one guy is changing the air conditioning and other uh, stuff on the car using this device. Uh, it contains of one connector, which is ODB2 connector and it communicates with the car through a canvas so let's connect this to the car i think i showed you the last time where the bus is it's here so now let's connect the, the device You just plug it and a red light will just uh, start. Now, when the device is plugged in the car, it is time to start the Android phone. Uh, this is, was my last phone. I'll just put it here. Uh, the application is called ODB11. You start the application. That's the application. When you first start the application, you need to create an account. And then uh, when you connect the, the ODB uh, device to the application, uh, you need to select the right model of the car. Uh, it will find the car as just a regular up, but you can change in the properties that it's electric up, so it knows exactly uh, which which car it's connected. So now let's connect first the Bluetooth. Let's. So here the uh, the phone found the device. The pin uh, it is written in the in the website. It's one, two, three, four. Okay. Now the device is connected, and when we start the app, we can press connect. It will start uh, connecting with the device and it needs to scan the whole the whole car to see what modules they are uh, and see exactly what's what's happening in the car. It takes a while for about a minute or two. The scan finished, it found three uh, errors that has been in my car, but that's not important at the moment. Here is the main menu. No, here is the main menu. And this is the car. There's a lot of information about the car. Uh, I will just go, go to the point 
where you can go to the controls. These are all the controls of the car. Uh, and we, we need to go to the air conditioning, then adaptation, then channel six. Okay. It will look for a channel. And this is the value one. The value one means that it will start always at 22 degrees centigrade. When we set this to zero and then save it. Then uh, it should uh, remember the last temperature that was set in the car. But there is one trick if you set it to very low if you set it like this and then turn off the car uh, it will again start at 22 degrees so if you are setting the car uh, up then very low temperature or very high temperature it will remember that value and it will uh, start the car with that value so i will set it for 19 degree centigrade and uh, I will test this setting tomorrow morning when I go to to work to see if the car will start with this temperature now it's 12 uh, at night so uh, tomorrow I will see if that setting works okay guys the moment of truth if the air conditioning will uh, Remain at 90 degree or not? Wow! Success! So, uh, with this device, I actually managed to... Uh, ...to remember the last thing that I set. Uh, I forgot to set something. I bought this uh, pro professional versions, version. So, the device actually is standalone device, but then you can have to buy uh, professional uh, upgrade which cost around 25 euro uh, to make the changes to the car uh, what else this actually is too expensive to make this small change it cost me totally around 60 euro which is quite a bit for just a change of the air conditioning but I'll keep an eye what else I can change on the car and we'll update you uh, with the videos if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like that, like this one, just type on the comments below what do you want to see and I will do my best to make it.